Hey guys, so I got a new Bosch mixer and I wanted to test her out, but I didn't want to bake anything, so we made ice cream. So I put in my two cups of heavy cream plus some cinnamon and nutmeg and a little pinch of salt. And so I threw it in here, right? So then I went and I was mixing up the sweetened condensed milk and the vanilla. And y'all, it only took two minutes for my whipped cream to be ready. What in the world? Okay, so that was ready um, way faster than I thought it was going to be. So that's going to be folded over into my sweetened condensed milk and vanilla uh, which was hard to do while holding the phone so just as a tip fit the foil over the outside of your pan then flip your pan over drop your foil inside and now boom it's in there all right so i'm gonna start by layering the base of my ice cream um so i'm gonna do the ice cream base which is just the whipped cream and the sweetened condensed milk then i'm gonna add in the no bake cheesecake that i got from walmart y'all insane um if you cannot find that in your local walmart just go to the blog at theaffordablefoodie.com and i also give you ways to make your own no bake cheesecake to throw into this ice cream i added crushed cookies to it um i forgot to add the bananas on this layer but don't worry they are in there on the next one see added them right there um so then i'm going to finish my layering i'm going to add some more cookies and then i'm going to add some more cheesecake as well i probably would add more cheesecake the next time I do this because it is chef's kiss all right so once all of that is put together you're gonna let this freeze for six to eight hours um, I can tell you I let it freeze overnight it was rock hard when I took it out of the freezer so it's gonna need to sit out a little bit in order for you to be able to scoop it out but it is the most delicious ice cream um, and now I've decided we're gonna do a whole no churn ice cream series so let me know in the comments what flavors you guys would like me to try next